up? It's Christine Horn, and you are watching another episode of Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. You are in for a huge treat because, hey, it's Friday. We here, right? This is episode 178. 178, yes. And today I want to talk about ADR. ADR, that's what I want to talk about. Um, so yes, it is Friday and I started my day hanging out at the Fox lot off Pico in Hollywood today doing some ADR and I was like let's talk about it because I had to really go there for my session today and I just wanted to put that bug in your ear um, just so you know if you're just joining us yes this will be on YouTube they're always on YouTube not later today there it'll be later in the next few days we already have a backlog of, of episodes <laughs> shout out to my assistant Razel who's on hi Razel from the Philippines um, so Yes, if this is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread, I want to welcome you. You are in the right spot if you are an actor, especially if you're an actor who wants to work in film and TV, or if you just need some help with your confidence, welcome. to so all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. So listen, we this is day 16 of our Level Up to Stardom series that I've been doing in honor of me teaching in Atlanta, Georgia, August 24th at the Bronze Lens Film Festival. I'm so excited. The countdown is almost here. Um, and so with that, I'm, I've been showing up every day to help you level up. If you missed last night's interview, where I interviewed Keena Ferguson, it was on the podcast, but we actually did a, a video face to face. If you missed that, um, it's on YouTube now and it's in our Facebook group in our Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group. If you're not a part of the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group, come on and join us. Just click the link, uh, Instagram in my bio, um, and you can join us. It's a free Facebook group. Um, so let's get into it today. So today I want to talk about ADR. And if you don't know what ADR, Apple Diamond Robert, it stands for Automatic Dialogue, Dialogue Replacement in the industry also known as looping. And so some of you may have already done this with projects you've had before, but today um, when I was actor Andre Congo. Why are you trying to be in my live video, Andre? What's going on? Hi, Andre. <laughs> um, you know, this morning I had an early ADR session in at, over at Fox, and this session today was a bit different because I, I hadn't done one in a while, and this was for like an action film. Um, and I just wanted to put the bug in your ear. It's easy when you get called back to do ADR. And so if you're new, let me just speak to my green actors really quick. You get called in to do ADR if they want to add a line, if they want to change a line that you said, if they want to try to get a better delivery of your line, um, anything could happen. And so sometimes it can be different things. So sometimes you're actually trying to match your mouth and say it in a different way, change the inflection. Um, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, Andre. I was like, what you trying to do, Andre? <laughs> um, he hit the button to join the video. I don't even know how to do that. I don't even know what was happening. But it's all good, thank you for being here. Um, so sometimes you have to match your mouth, right? And so you, it's like, a challenge to match your mouth exactly right. Um, Arisha, if you're just joining, ADR stands for Automatic Dialogue Replacement. So let's say you shoot a movie or a TV show, and then they call you after they're, as they're editing, and they say, hey, Arisha, we need you to come do some ADR on a few lines. You usually don't know what lines they are. They may send it to you ahead of time, or they'll, they'll let you know when you get there. And you go to a big booth, um, you know, a big sound, like either a sound stage or a recording booth, and there's a big screen, and you get to see yourself on the screen, and then they have your lines, you put on, it's like being in the studio, Arisha, singing, right? And then you have, um, they have your lines there, and they make three beeps right before you come in. So it'll be like, beep, 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 sir, can I help you? Sir, can I help you? Right, or whatever your line is, and you're trying to replace it. But here's what came up for me today, and I've done this for years and years, so the, doing ADR is not new to me, but I just wanted for you to place this in your ear, for, in your file cabinet for when you need to. It is essential when you show up for ADR, whether you're a kid or an adult, that you're making sure you allow yourself to fully go back to the place you had to be in, in that moment, so that the moment rings true 
for that moment. And so what do I mean? Let's say you have a really dramatic scene where you were crying and when you were on set, the emotion was there, your heart was racing, there was tears and it was great. It was, oh my gosh, I can't help it, right? But you spent hours building up to that and you were listening to your trigger music. My students know what I'm talking about with that, right? And so months later, six months later, when they call you back to ADR and you show up and they're like, oh, we just need you to do that one line. The mistake some people can make is just, is not allow yourself to fully go there. And I just want to put it in your mind that the same energy you took to get there while you were on set, you got to bring it back today. So today I'm in my ADR session. Hold on, let me get up. I'm in my ADR session and then I realize, let me lift y'all up with me. I realized, I was like, oh shoot, this is an action film. And when I was shooting this, I was jogging in place. I was doing push-ups, like, and so I'm literally there in front of these strangers and they're like, okay, you ready? And I'm like, no. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like doing all these kind of crazy things, like anything. <laughs> and they're just like, whenever you're ready, I'm like, just one second. <laughs> second and like okay go 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 and then I do my recording <laughs> so just as crazy as I look now I did it but I'm sharing that with you not just to shake my boobs at y'all <laughs> but to really <laughs> but to <laughs> you see how this my my breath is going now this is what I wanted to record because that's what I was doing at that moment when we spent eight hours shooting that scene so when I get called in today to do a quick hour of ADR, I want to make sure that I don't lose my performance because they decided to insert three more lines, you know, four, four months later. You see what I mean? So that's why sometimes you can, you'll be watching a TV show or a film and you'd be like, that emotion don't seem to be matching her face. Right? If you were like, why are you here? Like if that's what your face was saying, why are you here? But then your ADR is like, why are you here? They just won't match. And more than likely, the studio execs are not gonna let you leave with that version. But no one's going, my point of all this is, no one's going to tell you, hey, Christine, hey, Brandon, hey, Arisha, hey, hey Courtney, hey, Rosa, get in the zone do whatever you did no one's going to tell you that nine times out of ten the director is not there in the room it's some engineers they've been giving some notes to tell you to say a few more lines they're going by what they hear and what they think sounds good but you are responsible for knowing what that character needs so today in my session we were doing it a few times and in between each take i'm like <laughs> i'm just and i don't give a crap who's around because what matters is my performance that lands on that screen in this blockbuster film that will be out in November. I want to make sure that the best version of Christine shows up. And so they just had to wait. And when I was ready, they get the head nod like, I'm ready now. Go ahead and bring those beeps in. And I'll give a tip for my singers out there. If you're a singer, ADR is usually much easier for you, for us, than other people. And here's why, especially when you're trying to match something. So I had a line today and I was doing just the insert before the lines that they were gonna keep. And as I played them back, he was like, do you like it? And I was like, wait, can you play it back? And I realized I'm gonna make up the lines so I don't give it away. Let's just say the line was, the light's out. Right? If, so if I said, the light's out, that's what they needed me to insert, the light's out. But then my next line was like, go, why don't you go ahead and get, get those lights, get the light bulbs. And I noticed when I, the line that they were gonna keep was in a lower register, lower octave. It was like, why don't you go get those light bulbs? So I was like, the light's out. Why don't you go get those light bulbs? And I was like, no, 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 I need you to play the whole thing. And I was like, why don't you go get those light bulbs? Lights out, lights out, the lights out, the lights out. Why don't you go get those light bulbs? If you're not a singer, you're probably not. You're like, what the heck is she talking about? But my singers, I say this to you because when you can match the, the octave and the key of what you're saying, it makes ADR so much easier because I don't want it to feel, we've all heard when we, we've um, watched a movie on television that's been edited, like the curse words are taken out. And I'm like, you better get out of my face, you mamma jamma. Like, 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 whose voice is that? <laughs> 
<laughs> so that is very helpful. And again, you may not need this now. <laughs> Miss Tony says, this is golden. Great. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Um, so that is key. And so again, no one's going to tell you that I have to listen. This is my performance. Do I want to be the lights out? Go ahead and get those light bulbs. Like, what is it? Is a character living in, let's go get these light bulbs? Because I choose my vocal range and my tone based on character. So would my character be the lights out? So sometimes I get actors, you know, I just um, started working with a couple of more, a couple of actors in my inner circle VIP program who are at an advanced level. They're not newbies. They don't need their co-stars. They, they're working as series regular, guest recurring guest star level. And I was saying that, the difference, and I tell my Booking Magnet Academy members this, there's a difference in what you bring to projects as a supporting role in a movie, a guest star, recurring guest star, series regular. That's what I'm always talking about. What food do you bring to the table versus being a co-star mindset of I'm just here to eat and just support this, this, the staff and support the meal that's already here. They told me I didn't have to bring no cornbread because they had cornbread there. I just need to go show up, do my job and go home versus guest star, recurring guest star, series regular. Someone's, you show up, people are like, are you making cornbread today? Did you bring the mix? Did you bring all your ingredients for the cornbread? Like they're, they're looking for you to do that. And so this goes all the way to the end until that movie or TV show is on air. If they call you back to do ADR, remember that responsibility is still on you. And the difference is you don't have someone there to cheer you on, to coach you through. People are listening with a different ear. So I hope that makes sense. Y'all picking up what I'm putting down? Let me check these comments. So that was my set. I just thought that would be really helpful for you today. And if it hasn't, if you haven't had to do ADR yet, you will one day. And just remember this video. Uh, hey, Trafina, she says, do they show you any kind of playback from the actual scene? Um, uh, sorry, I didn't see your comment to just now. Yes, so in, when you're in these studios, you're in a recording studio. They're usually very large. You're standing in the center of it. There's microphones all around you. And then some studios, like I had ADR last week for a TV show, um, which was a little different. They put a lav on me, but they also had mics and I had my headset. And there's a huge screen up front. You always see yourself because you have to know what you're matching. You have to know the energy you're matching. And if you're matching your mouth, you really have to pay attention because they'll play you the lead in. They'll have three beeps, beep, 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 speak. Beep, 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 speak. It's always three beeps and then you speak. So whatever lead in you need, and sometimes people are not connected, so they're just give me right. And I'm like, no, I need to take it back further. I got to get in the zone. Like I showed her earlier, I'm not going to jump up and down again, but I had to literally go there, jumping jacks, running to get where I needed to go. And then when the, whenever the beeps come, they will come. But you absolutely um, get to see yourself. And it's kind of fun because that's, you're usually, it's the first cut you see of something. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm in it. I didn't get cut out yet. <laughs> uh, hi, Sunday. You're welcome. Um, yes, this is good. I just dropped nuggets on y'all. So if you haven't done some ADR, or if you've done some and your session didn't go great, I just, I have the same rules in my ADR sessions as I do when I'm on set filming. The, the least amount of notes as possible. <laughs> I don't want you talking to me. Like, that's always my goal. Like, the least you have to talk to me, the better. I know when I didn't get it. I'd be like, let's do it again. Let's do it again. They'd be like, it's good. They'd be like, it's good. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. And then when we get a nice amount of takes, then he can be like, let's play back this part. And then, you know, it's it's magic in the studio. So they can mix and match part of take one, part of take five, part of take seven, bring adjust the volume. They can make movie magic. But I need to leave knowing that my um, my performance will be intact and that I've given them everything that they need to make sure that that happens. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. This is 178. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. If you're watching on YouTube later, subscribe or listen on the podcast, subscribe. And uh, if you if you enjoy this, there's a this is 178. So there's at least 177 other episodes of Actors Daily Bread that you can binge on if you decide to do so. Thank you so much. Have an amazing weekend. I'll be back tomorrow at some point in time. Good night.